Hello coin collectors out there. Welcome back to the International Coins and Paper channel. Here on this channel, I'm sharing with you some of my international coins that you might be interested. In this video, it's going to be a little bit different. It might be a little bit longer than the previous videos that I've made on this channel because we're going to kind of dive into four different coins. Now, they're all from the same country and they were made in the same year, but I thought it'd be interesting to kind of look at them side by side and look at all four of them in one video. So they're all made in the year 2014 and they all come from the country of Malaysia. As you can see, there's a different uh, metal content is used between these two coins and these two coins. So we'll talk about that, the value of the coins. And when we flip them over, we'll see that they all have different images on the other side of the coin. So these coins are all from a nice uh, little Southeast Asian country known as Malaysia. Their uh, area is rather small. They rank 66 in the entire world as far as area. Their population ranks them 44th, but their GDP is actually quite high. It's uh, 26 in the world. So it's a kind of a small country, but they do produce a lot of goods and services that get counted into those GDP figures. So the gross domestic product of the country. All right, now we've zoomed in on the 10 cent and the 20 cent coin. These are both nickel brass coins. They were made from 2011 until 2017. I'm gonna move this one aside. And this will be uh, the only time we really talk about the reverse side of the coin. Uh, the reverse side is the same for all of them. So there's no, re no reason to uh, repeat that throughout. So we'll just talk about this once and then we'll go on to the next one. So this one right, the reverse side, uh, on all of them will feature a hibiscus flower with uh, some lettering going around the coin. So here is the flower. And then the lettering that you'll see is Bank of Malaysia. I'm not sure what that word means, probably like the equivalent of like Royal Bank of Malaysia. The year, these all happen to be dated 2014, but this series was made from 2011 until 2017. And then the face value of the coin, five cent. Now these, <coughs> excuse me there, uh, the five cent coin. Um, so that's going to be worth about a cent in United States dollars when you uh, translate it over. And a little bit more about the five cent coin. It's a stainless steel coin. It weighs 1.72 grams, has a diameter of 17.78 millimeters and a thickness of 1.12. We flip it over and we see a uh, more interesting side of the coin. Now, interestingly, this doesn't have any lettering on it, so it's kind of hard for me uh, to describe what you're seeing here. There's a lot of dots and a lot of patterns. I imagine these are more important to the people of Malaysia than kind of I understand. So we see the Distar Signa, the pattern of the traditional fabric, with the Sulur Kacheng, the traditional decorative motive, P. Teteralis as the background. So that's what we're seeing with this particular coin. As you can see, it's stainless steel, and you can see my reflection in it just a little bit. If I wave my hand over here, um, you can kind of see, whoops, I guess you can't see it anymore, but um, yeah, there we go, right here you can see it. So that's my reflection in the background. Um, all right, so that's the five cent. We'll get through these next coins a little bit quicker. Here is the 10 cent coin. For comparison, we can see that it is a little bit bigger than the one uh, than the five cent coin. The 10 cent coin has a diameter of 18.8 millimeters compared to the five cent coin, which has a diameter of 17.8 millimeters. The 10 cent weighs 2.98 grams. It has the same metal content as the five cent, which is a stainless steel. Its thickness is 1.5 millimeters. And the, um, the reverse of the coin we feature the Maha Mihi tribe plant in a weaving pattern. So there's a lot of different patterns uh, that we'll see on the reverse of, on the uh, obverse of these coins. I might not do a great job explaining them to you, but at least you can see the different imagery and see how cool it actually looks. So moving on to this one right here, this is the 20 cent coin and the metal content actually switches between the 10 cent and the 20 cent coin. So the 20 and the 50 cent coin are both nickel brass coins. They have a value of 20 cent, uh, which translates to about five cents United States dollars. They have a weight of 4.18 grams and a diameter of 20.6 millimeters, a thickness of 1.75. Now this is the 
uh, reverse of the coin, which is the same for all of them. So let's flip it over and look at this pattern. So another cool pattern that we see here on the 20 cent coin. Uh, I'll do my best to describe it. It's the uh, Bunga Muller or a Jasmine Flower with a D-Star Signa pattern as the background. So that's what we're looking at for this um, specific design for the 20 cent coin. Now, the final coin as part of this uh, video is going to be the 50 cent coin. Now you can see the reverse looks like all the others except it says 50 there instead of the other different amounts that we looked at. Now its shape is a little bit different going around the outside. So you can see we have some dents around the outside and another pattern here for the reverse. Now, uh, for the obverse, excuse me. So the obverse features uh, Sulu Kanchang P. Tedralis uh, with parallel lines which display a lateral image uh, depending on how the light hits them. Uh, micro letters B, N, and M near the plant. So let's try and see if we can see those micro letters. Can't see them yet. Well, this is just a nice, it does look a little bit different. It's a very nice shine to it when you uh, when we're doing what we're doing here and just kind of like playing with it with the light. So a very nice coin right here. Its value is 50 sen, uh, 50 sen which translates to half a minmar, half a myr, uh, which translates to about 13 United States cents. It's got a weight of 5.66 grams, diameter 22.65, thickness 1.92. Now, I only have the mintages uh, for 2011 when they made just uh, sets only and not business class strike coins. In 2011, there were 500,000 sets only made. I'm not sure of the business class strike coins. So hopefully you enjoyed this video. We touched upon some cool coins from Malaysia. We saw the 50 sen, the 20 sen. These are both the nickel, brass, clad, copper. And then we saw these ones up here, the stainless steel, which is the 10 and the 5 cent coins. So hopefully you enjoyed this video. If you're into coin collecting, please do check out some of the other videos on this channel. Take care, everyone, and best of luck coin collecting. Enjoy.